Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. And the Lord is saying today, my child, even though you may not see me working on your current pressing situation, does not mean I am not working, for I am always working. But most of the time you cannot see it, my child. I am the shade that covers you from the sun. I am the cover that protects you from the rain. I will come to all those and deliver those that call upon me, my child. All I require of you today is to wait. Yes, wait upon me. And as you wait, worship me through every storm of doubt and every struggle. Yes, for I see what the enemy does and how he bombards you with unclean thoughts, impure thoughts, fearful thoughts and confusion that makes you even question where I am. That even causes you to ask yourself the question, is it worth tarrying in my presence. Yes, the enemy wants to bind your mind with guilt so that you never feel worthy to come into my presence. But I tell you today to wait upon me, for there is no time in eternity, my child. And the enemy knows that if he can distract you and create blockages, it will cause you to not wait and stay until the breakthrough comes, my child. Yes, he wants you to miss the breakthrough to your situation. Yes, but I say again, keep pressing into me today in worship, as nothing you do in worship, in prayer, and in fasting is ever in vain, my child. So spend more time with me today in my presence. See, the enemy wants everything rushed within your life. So he will make you super busy, even that you will rush spending time in my company and cause you to make rushed decisions so that you will not have my approval or say in the matter. See, when I call you, to wait upon me. You must transform your temporal thoughts and thinking pattern into my thoughts and understanding. Move past your temporal thoughts of depression, your temporal thoughts of unclean things, your temporal thoughts of anxiety and worry. Yes, so wait upon me and allow my words to wash over you today, to remove your temporal thoughts, to transition into the mindset that you were born to have, my child. My eternal thoughts, for as you surrender these battles, these struggles that you are giving me then permission to fight on your behalf, my child. So position yourself today and receive my blessing over your life as you wait upon me. Even though you get tired to be in my presence, I never get tired of communing with you, my child. So press in a little longer, press in more and press in deeper today. For I wish to flow through you today as you tarry in my presence. I will make a way where there seems no way. Just trust in my plan and wait for my timing. Be at peace this day, my child. Shalom. Praise the Lord, precious saints. The Bible says, according to Romans 8.26, Likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weaknesses. For we do not know what to pray. Pray for as we ought, but the Spirit Himself intercedes for us with groanings too deep for words. Somebody say, Hallelujah. The Spirit of the living God is here to help us. Now, nearly all of us have been at this desperate place. Our souls are brittle and dry. All our prayers seem to bounce off the ceiling. They fall lifelessly to the ground and come to rest at our feet as bitter reminders of our failure and spiritual impotence. Yes, we know that the enemy may be bombarding you today with many different thoughts, but God is still on the throne. Somebody say hallelujah. 
See, like every other great blessing from God, prayer has its origin and power in the Father's grace, precious saints. And thankfully, the power of our prayers is not dependent upon our feelings, our perceptions, or our choice of words. The power of prayers rest in the hands of the Holy Spirit, the Spirit as the helper, the advocate, and the comforter. He intercedes for us with our Father. And sometimes all we need to do is rest in the presence of God. Our Comforter, He articulates what we cannot say and captures the emotions that we cannot verbalize at times. Our Advocate takes our prayers before the Father after his work of perfecting our words and emotions. So allow the Spirit to take over today. The Spirit of God, he then intercedes for us according to the Father's perfect will. So you must submit yourself today into God, into his presence, precious saints. See, prayer then is not just a spiritual discipline, but also an incredible gift of our Father's grace to each of us. The Spirit assures us that we will always be heard and that our deepest longings will always be understood by the Father who loves us and always longs to hear the cry of our hearts. Hallelujah. See, the Father, He went through such a sacrifice to surrender His Son to die for us, that we could be restored to Him. Somebody say hallelujah. Lord, I pray for each person today. Heavenly Father, I thank You. Lord, we praise You because of the intercession of the Holy Spirit, even right now at this very moment. I know, Lord, that you hear more than even what our words may say. But Lord, I pray, Lord, that you want to know what's on our heart. And today, as we come into your presence, Lord, as we go from our temporal thinking to our eternal mindset that you want us to walk in, to focus on you, to seek those things above rather than the temporal things are here on this earth. Heavenly Father, you know what's on our hearts today. You know our doubts. You know our insecurities. You know our secret sins. And you know our even frustrating struggles and every storm that we face that even the enemy may come and force our way. Oh, Father, today you know our deep desire even to have the things redeemed and transformed by your grace so that we may live for your glory. Lord, I pray for each person today that is struggling to wait upon you. Lord, that you will give them that grace to tarry in your presence. I thank you, Jesus, for making it all possible and the sacrifice that you made on the cross for us. Lord, I pray for the help of the Holy Spirit that is here to help us, to deliver us, to lead us, to guide us into all truth. Lord, I pray for each person today as you are transforming our minds from the temporal into the eternal. Lord, I thank you for each person that you will bless them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. You would heal each person that needs healing. You will deliver each person that needs delivering. You will provide for each person that needs provision and you will restore each area of their life that needs restoring. Come and take all those anxieties. Come and take all those troubles away from them today. Lord, we thank you for what you're doing with each person's life as they press into you. May they draw closer to you today In Jesus' mighty name, we pray and believe. Amen and amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Narrow Path Ministries in Perth, Western Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this utterance today, precious saints, we encourage you, forward it to a friend that needs to hear this message today. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram. You can also follow us on Rumble. And most importantly, you can go to our website, repentancerevival.com. Precious saints, God bless each person that has partaken of the 21 days fasting, which ended yesterday. And I pray that you will bless each person that has decided to either continue or that started late and will continue until they finish the end of the 21 days. You can start that at any time. Maybe you missed it over this period of time. Lord, I thank you for each person because I know you are working behind the scenes and revival is stirring up in the hearts of all those that desire to see more of you. Lord, as they enter and they tarry in your presence, bless them today. From my family to yours, God bless you. We love you. We are praying for you, precious saints. Shalom, shalom, shalom.